Mountain Dew Mystic Punch Drank Review. I'm going to try out this. Let's see what it is. Mystic Punch Mountain Dew. Yep, Mystic Punch. Let me see what it says. It's a, a fruit-based punch. So, it's a nice color to it in design, but uh, there's been so many versions of blue and purplish and lavender type Mountain Dews that this is going to have to uh, have a unique taste. We'll, we'll see how it is. Um, it smells like one of those, um, uh, one, uh, drinks, um, from the childhood, the ones called the little jugs. It was the little like barrels that had, um, like great Kool-Aid in and punch. That's what it, it smells like. So I'm going to try to taste it here. Okay, um, many people will have problems with that because it's not a real potent flavor. It's maybe a little underwhelming, but I tend to like the underdogs and the ones that go left to center. So to me, it, it's just the right amount of sweetness. I'd imagine if you were able to have crushed ice and pour this on it, Kind of like a Snoopy snow cone. Um, it'd be very delicious. Uh, it does not taste like fruit punch to me. It tastes like a um, extremely light grape soda. Uh, not many uh, hints of the Mountain Dew traditional flavor can be found in it. But... Uh, it's a uh, pretty good. Like, would I buy a, a twelve pack of it? No. Would I buy the occasional twenty ounce or sixteen point nine ounce? Yes, or two liter if they have it. I'll give it a solid. 7 out of 10 because it doesn't uh, reach the heights of the other flavors like the Mountain Dew Code Red, the Baja Blast, um, the Mountain Dew Zero, or Live Wire <laughs> on down the line. Uh, voltage even. I would prefer Voltage uh, uh, to this. So, like I said, it's not bad at all. It, it's good, but most people would be expecting a lot more. So, that is, again, Mountain Dew Mystic Punch. Hey, bottle went clear. It gone down, down clear on me.
Okay.